Hello. Hello. So, uh, what about Snoop-Oops? That's not, that's not even remotely close. There you go. That was at least my face. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, who's good now? Yeah. Anyway, um, so what are we doing today, Jen? <laughs> um, today we are going to go to my friend Julie's Christmas tree farm to pick up a Christmas tree and a bunch of greens for a garland that we'll show you how to do. Maybe this video, maybe another video. We'll figure it out. I couldn't say that word. So uh, what we're going to do right now is uh, rearrange the living space in preparation for Christmas and Christmas get-together. This is kind of what it looks like right now. It's a little... Yeah. <laughs> Jen's usually right there. She just she just stands there. I don't know, it's weird. Um, but this is kind of what we look like right now. So uh, we're going to go ahead and fix that up real quick and we'll get right back with you. Time lapse time! Anyway, okay, so let's do it. Ready to start with Oh, he's going to be all of We just got some stuff from Tractor Supply and we're gonna go to the farm where there's some trees. Yeah, Julie, where is your farm? Uh, the farm is down in Prattsburg, New York. We've had it for 29 years now. And how big is it? 42 acres. 42 acres. 42 acres yeah. of just trees and stuff. Trees and wonderful fresh air and very few people. Yeah, let's get back out of Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we out here at the at the farm and I have a knife. Yeah, sure. Okay, here. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hand Julie a knife because she needs a knife or something. There you go. Oh, sorry. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we're here and um, I don't know, it's behind me I guess. And uh, we're gonna go get some uh, tree and stuff. Julie! Julie, the trees that you're currently walking through, how long ago did they get planted? Uh, about 20 years ago. Um, they're the first trees that we planted when we started this place. And then they've probably grown Probably about 30, 40 feet, I would say. Yeah. So in a couple of years, we'll log these off so that way we can start planting again. But right now, they're really good coverage for a lot of the animals and the deer and stuff like that. These fools getting hit by thorns. Like, come on, what are you gonna? Please, just step on them. Easy. Or just go third. That's what I do. This is where we're going to die! Oh. Great. So, day 47. Still no potential candidates. I'm wearing the same clothes because I haven't bathed in you know, 46 days. Won't take you when we get there. We're here. This is, this is the one. Found it. Found it. Now we just gotta cut it. Oh, oh terrible. All right. And there she blows. <laughs> that's, that's such a nice tree though. Yeah, I like this tree. I think I gave, just gave up my Christmas tree. <laughs> you 
have one, right? Already? Not yet, yet, yeah, no. Let's get you one too. Take you back. I don't, I don't have a space for it yet. Oh. So I usually go with my parents too. All right. All right, so. Down the tree! Down the jam! Ah! She can't actually turn it off. Yeah, so. I can't. <laughs> Just poke it with your nose, look. Hi. We're gonna string it up so that we can tow it. Like, yep. tow it, tow it. Drag it, sled dog it. You're a draft horse now. <laughs> <laughs> There's some beautiful like one. Yeah. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to help? I'm not Sorry. doing anything. Nothing. Remember, you're the draft horse, not the person who ties right, things up. I'll stand up here. <laughs> well, yeah, we gotta get them harnessed up with the yoke and everything. <laughs> We gotta get it out of this a little bit first. <laughs> Riveting. This is great. Fascinating. Yeah. You trying to hold my hand? What are you doing? I'm trying to grab the rope. Looking at all the rain. You got some water on the lunch, right? I'm, my gutters are leaking under my face. <laughs> Yeah, I just felt a water droplet like go down my shirt. Oh, that sucks. Nice. Here you go. Yeah, no, I'm gonna be soaking wet when we get in the car. We should have brought towels. You want me to? <laughs> you got it. All right, that way. Yeah. This way. Yeah. Okay. Do you have enough room? I can't yeah, really. <laughs> I can't hold on to these things. Okay. <laughs> the other reason? <laughs> Guess what? My nose won't turn it off. Hey, look at that. That's great. So anyway, we're heading back with uh, El Trio here. Look, look at this haul she got. Look at this. Look at these. Look crazy. I'm gonna get more. You're gonna get more? I'm so cold. Where are you cold. getting more from? All right, Julie, you got this the rest of the week? Cool. Had to go back. Because uh left the axe behind even though we didn't really use it. So uh that's cool. Alright, well see you when we were setting it up. I feel like that didn't come out. We'll see you when we are setting it up. Cool. Alright, so uh we realized when we got back to the car that we left an axe sitting by one of the trees out there, so Wes and Julie just ran to go get it, and I am getting the car heated up, I guess. Being useless. Uh, but we're soaked all the way through because it decided to start downpouring. So, fun adventure. Good time. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. But it's time to go home, and we'll give you an update then. Alright, boys. We gotta trim the top more if the star won't fit. Okay. We got the tree set up. Um, it was, uh, just kind of a quick process because uh, we just got here and nothing happened yeah. in between driving from the place to here. <laughs> <laughs> nothing at all. Nothing at all. It was splinter. <laughs> no vehicles were in any ditches, if that's what you're asking. No, it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. But it's here and we're good and everything's good. So, uh, yeah, cool. Yeah. I'm going to walk this way before my head gets on off. Cool. <laughs> so what are you doing, Jen? I am cutting up oranges to make a garland out of. So what are we going to do with them? So we're going to put them in the oven. Oh, that one's fun. Um, <laughs> we're going to put them in the oven. At, also making orange water. Yeah. At 200 degrees for four hours to dry them out. And <laughs> then I will string them together and add them to the garland I'm going to make with the clippings we got from the Christmas tree farm yesterday. Here is my stash of things to make garlands out of. So I went to Michael's. I got most of my stuff at Michael's. Got three strands of lights because we didn't have anywhere near enough for this tree. 50 bulbs. They're plastic, but hey, I'm going to reuse them like every year and they're a good base. And then I got three different types of yarn that I'm actually going to wrap the bulbs with using the Elmer's glue that's right there. And some fake cranberries to go on top. And then I got um, popsicle sticks, buttons, floral 
wire for the garland actually. Some pine cones for the garland because I couldn't find any out in the forest. Um, some ribbon also for the garland. And then I got four bags of cranberries, a bag of popcorn that doesn't have any butter or anything on it, some fishing line, and some clementines. Um, clementines are to do exactly what I'm doing with the oranges right now, and then I'm going to make garlands out of these two as well. What do you think, Sha? Huh? To do this project, you're going to need a couple of things. Obviously, you need all of the greens. Um, anything you want to add in, I'm going to add dried oranges and some pine cones. But what you really need are tools. Primarily, you need this stuff. This is florist wire. You can get it from pretty much any craft store for, I don't know, like five bucks. And you need pruners to cut the branches down a little bit, wire cutters, obviously, to cut the wire, some needle nose pliers for when you're attaching stuff like this, and a tape measure because you're going to want to know how big the space. You're putting this is in is and then I would add like a good six inches per swag that you want to have in the garland. It's a holiday garland because of the way it is. What are your thoughts? I like it. It only took me about like, I don't know, two, three hours to do and it actually came out exactly the way I wanted it to, which I didn't think was gonna happen. So I'm kind of proud of myself. What yeah. do you think of it? I think it's a holiday garland, which <laughs> is cool. Christmas garland, if you will. Okay. It's not the only thing in here we made either. We also made the stockings with my friend Julie. You saw her earlier in the video. And we made all of these like yarn ornament bulb things. And then I dried some grapefruits and hung them on the tree too. And my friend Kelsey made us a star garland. Which is dope! So dope. She did a great job. But yeah, holiday decorated. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I don't know. I think I think our formats usually we want to like outline what it would cost to do these things yourself or how much you could pay to just buy them, um, just to give you options. But I think this year we've been feeling a bit rushed, so we'll just show you the final product and maybe next year we'll do this, something similar and outline it a bit more in depth and way ahead of time instead of Christmas Eve. Yeah, I will say though I did spend about a hundred dollars in like craft supplies. You spend a hundred dollars. Oh my god. <laughs> this is what we pour. And it's a lot better than previous years when I spent about a hundred dollars and we got maybe ten ornaments. So Which I don't really see too many of them on the tree. They're all up there. We just didn't have like anything. I think we need like a hundred more ornaments. What do you think? Let us know down below. How many ornaments do you have? That's okay, no, that's the question. Though, this I want to know. How many ornaments <laughs> is like the average, or like what what makes sense? Or yeah, I guess just what do you have? Because I, growing up, I had like my family had I don't know maybe like twenty five to fifty. I would say somewhere around a hundred is probably average. Most well, but, people load the you, up. Me, I don't know. I'd have to count, but yeah, we definitely had somewhere around seventy five to a hundred on the tree. And Kelsey has like one fifty or something. She said one hundred and twenty. One hundred and twenty. I don't know, it's weird, because I, I think less less is more. Uh, maybe not, but that's this what I'm is, used to. I didn't even make all 50 of the bulbs I bought. Yeah, I know. I made maybe 30. So much plastic wasted. Oh, jeez. No, because I'm going to keep making them, and I'm going to make more of these little guys, too. I should make some blue ones. Oh, this is kind of like a greenish blue. Yeah, but like straight blue. Anyway. Anyway. Let us know down below, and uh, if you liked it, you know, leave a like. Um, Subscribe, please. Yeah, we, we need all the help we can get. <laughs> Please. Please. It'll, it'll be your Christmas present to us. Okay. Yeah. Well, 
till next time, probably in two weeks when we upload another video. Yeah, and we we discovered something that the cat really liked while we were doing this, <laughs> so okay. we're probably gonna make that the next video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. Bye. I guess it was my fault that we had to go back for the axe then. Yep. We wouldn't have had it if you hadn't wanted it. There wouldn't have been an axe to forget. But now we have a story. And as we've all learned from Game of Thrones, stories are clutch. Cool. That's what we learned? Yes. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> <laughs>